YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the Solution Kicks. Back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and smack that notification button so you know when I'm driving on new things. YouTube, what's going on? Solution, the Solution for Kicks. Back with another video. Make sure you smack that comment button. Ugh. YouTube, what's going on? It's the Solution for the Solution for Kicks. Back with another video. Make sure you smack that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things and you two can be a part of the Four Kicks Brigade. Merch coming soon. Merch coming soon. Merch coming soon. All right. So today's topic is grills were copped. Yes, indeed, everyone. Patience is a virtue. I stress it a lot on the channel. Don't be in such a hurry unless you just simply want it. In this particular case, I knew I was going to have to wait for this sneaker, either for them to be retro again and get released because they dropped in 2015. And I really wasn't copping retro J's like that at the time. I mean, I was, but I wasn't chasing releases like that. I was just getting what I wanted for the low. But it was basically like mids and all that good stuff and lows and whatever. All right. But this particular sneaker, I've always loved it. And I wish I had gotten it when I believe it dropped in. Uh, I don't know. First time I think it was 2008 it came out. But the original time it wore, um, MJ wore these. I was like, man, those are cool. Those are real cool. Once again, those are cool. So we're talking about the Air Jordan 8 Aquas. A lot of sneaker YouTubers love this sneaker because the color blocking is so dope. It's unbelievable how they paired this together. So before I get into it, I have to talk about a very, very old version of the Aqua 8. Remember the Fusion Forces? I talked about the sneaker quite a bit. I had it out on my live saying, hey, this is basically my placeholder for my, um, I left them out when they got dusty. I left them out, yeah, I see it. I said, I have to hold on to these and make these bad boys hang around because I believe I got these in 2010. Yeah, 2010. 2000, no, 2009. Yeah, no, I got these in 2010 because I got them when I came back from Korea. And actually, my daughter, she had a pair too. I bought her a pair. So we had matching uh, Fusion Force 8s. And I'm starting to see some deterioration in these bad boys because, hey, these are almost 10 years old. One of the oldest pairs of sneakers in my collection. Not the oldest. I showed you those. It's a pair of Air Force One Lows. But... <clears throat> These right here, I held on to them. They're in great condition considering. Got some heel drag on it. Got some wearing on the new buck. And this is one material I really don't like on sneakers because at the time, this is going to happen no matter what. It's that top layer is going to wear away. You see right there on the strapping, that's happening. It, it just breaks down over time. New buck, door buck, any buck. I just don't like it on sneakers. However, I do like how it looks from time to time. It's just not a very durable material. So I said, you know something? I'm going to peruse social media. I'm going to peruse various e-commerce sites and see if I can find a decent pair of Aqua 8s used. I know eventually I'm going to come across a pair that's going to be suitable to me in my opinion. And I was seeing pairs for as high as 350 I've seen used pairs for as high as 150, as low as 130, and I've almost pulled the trigger a couple of times. But after looking at the sneaker very, very close, I was like, no. Now, the time before this time that I almost pulled the trigger was, was at Hype Fest. I saw a pair, no, the Spurs Sneaker Jam. I saw a pair for 150, a size 10. And in H, I can wear a size 10. I don't have an issue with that. And I decided not to get the sneaker. And I was kicking myself. I said, why didn't I buy that sneaker? But patience is a virtue. So shout out to my dudes, Jonah and AC, who run Laced Up here in San Antonio. It is a beautiful thing when you see young men doing that. And these guys are not even in their 20s yet. And they're doing this out here. And um, I was walking by and a guy had a pair of... Oh. All right, my man right here just sold me my grails. 
for any of these things. And if you know my videos, you know I love this shoe. So I have one more grail to get, and that's the Laney 5. He gave me a good price, they're in great condition. I'm good with it, and yes. I got the um, Fusion Force inks like this, man. Yeah, right. And with the Air Force yeah, One. Right, right. That's yeah, me. yeah, I appreciate it. Hey, good no looking. problem, man. All right. All right, you enjoy those, all right? You thank you, those. thank you, thank you. Good condition, man. Yeah. yeah. Aqua 8s. I said, hey, <laughs> you see the video. Matter of fact, my least up video, I'm standing there with the guy. And I said, um, are those for sale? He said, yeah. He's like $80. I was like, sold. I didn't even try to talk him down. Now, they, they aren't in perfect condition, but considering the age of the sneaker, they are very, very well maintained. And like I talked about, you're going to have stuff like that on that new buck. I'm fully aware this is going to happen. But for now, until these get retro, I am cool with these for $80. I am all right. Got some slight creasing right there. It's to be expected with eights. He wore these, but he took them, he took great care of these. Okay. Like I said, you're gonna see that round, especially right here on the inside strap of the eights. Most people don't even strap the eights up like that. They just keep them like that. But over time, because this makes contact, this part right here, it makes contact with a lot of stuff. So it, expect that to wear a little bit. But for him to have these for so long, <clears throat> They're in great condition. So I haven't rocked them yet, but I will. I might wear these Saturday, I'm not sure. I might pull these out Saturday. And uh, I'm telling you all, I am ecstatic to get these. Even with the, you know, the little visual, visual wearing parts on there, I'm cool with them, man. I'm cool, they even got the little glossy stuff in there, the little flakes and all that. Um, but uh, th these are dope, man. Yes, until they get re retroed I'm cool, man. I'm telling you. I might even go after the women's Aqua Ace, the white joints. And I saw those online and I did not pull the trigger. They had my size. I was like, mm, I should get them. But I said, you know something? It's cool. They eventually come around. I'm going to see those again. And trust and believe, I will see those again. Just to complete the pack, if you will. You know, it's not a true pack, but I just want to have those. I will get those. So what grails do I have left over? I have the white lanies, the original white lanies, because I have the reverse, the blue ones that a lot of people hate because they were a massive GR. Wah. Boo-hoo. Like this thing, you like it. And the next pair is obviously the Chicago's. So you're probably asking the solution. What's your placeholder? It's these joints right here. These red joints right here, man. These are my placeholders, all right? And tonight, I've been rocking these, man. There's some good leather on them. So they, you know, they do the little creasing thing. I ain't worried about that. I had them on today. Keep it. All right. This is what I had on today. I should do a sneaker rotation. What do y'all think? What? I'm not sure. I probably could just post pictures and do a little quick montage about my rotation. But that's something I never really got into because I simply walk into the rooms or the closet and just snatch shoes off and everything. And that's how I do it. I really don't like, oh, yeah, these are dope. I don't post them that often. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. But make sure you jump in the comments, talk about, hey, I am one third of the way of copping all of my grails. Obviously, to the uh, Chicago, I can't do anything about until next February, and I'm fine with that. Those will be on status. But you've seen my live where I talk about my grails, and you saw the video. Yes. Thumbnail time. <laughs> Uh, to be a sneaker YouTuber. But make sure you jump down in those comments. Comment, like, subscribe. Smack that notification button so you will know when I'm dropping on one of these things. Merch coming soon. Four Kicks Brigade, First Division. Amadi. Boom. You're working on a flip on you